<laughs> Hi! How excited are you? <laughs> Come back over here. I don't want to step in the snow. Say hi to Mar. Say hi, Mar. <laughs> okay, you ready to go inside? Come on. There's enough snow. Okay, bye. Mom, you got a couple of non fat yogurts back here. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that back surgery now. I don't either. You shouldn't have had, you shouldn't be having pain. Well, I didn't even tell you guys why I'm in the car, why I filmed Gracie in the snow, and what is going on. And I got new shoes for some odd reason, and um, Gracie decided that she liked them too. But why did I get new shoes? Why are we in the car? And you might recognize this bad boy coming up here from my last travel vlog. Okay, don't tell me you're gonna slow down to 35 and we can't switch lanes. Hey, I'm filming here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's that tunnel from the, the, the most exciting part of the, the ride to Philly. Yes. But you guys still don't know where I'm going yet. And I'm not going to title this vlog where I'm going. Maybe I will actually. And you guys already know at this point. Okay, we are at the airport. I made it through security. I think I'm the only person walking around here with a pillow pet. We just got to our gate. I've never flown Southwest before, so I don't really know what these numbers mean. I think they have to do with the number on my ticket. I'm not sure according to like Galaxy's Edge like how good this is, but we're boarding group A. So we're so early there's like nobody even near us right now. Okay, maybe I like go a little overkill with the earliness. <laughs> My only problem is, is that I have actually missed a flight once before and I think ever since then I've been like, we have to be there 10 hours early because it just can't happen again. That's the socks I'm wearing today. You know what you see a lot of at the airport? Is people walking around with, um, you know, those ear pods in their ears and just looking all cool and stuff those type of people. Look at that. Now I get to think of Gracie the entire trip every time I look at my shoes. It's like she gave me like a little uh, memento, like a memento mori. Well, okay, no, because that means nothing like I love you in dog language. You know what I like about this airport though? It's like all the chairs, not even like just some of them, have little outlets in them. Oh, and I am not even plugged in. Now we are. There we go. Also, I took out my braces, so I won't be as lispy now. So um, we can talk about snakes and snacks and sodas. I just realized I didn't even tell you guys where we're going yet. And it's not Orlando, it's not Orlando. We're not going to Orlando, but we're going to Chicago. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, we're going to Chicago right now. I've never been there before. I've been to Chicago, to Paris, to Dallas, to... Where are we? Oh, Scranton. Look at that. Can you even see it? That Frontier plane has a seal on the back. Seal. That's another word that's hard to say when I have my braces in. You know, honestly, I'm really shocked that I'm doing this myself because I had such bad anxiety that I wouldn't even drive down the street. I, I was to the point where I would be driving and I'd pull over and I would be so scared that I would have to have someone come pick me up and I would never travel on my own. So this is like a really big deal. And I'm trying to think of like, I, I just can't believe that I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm pretty proud and flying, forget about it. Like you would never catch me flying on a plane alone for any reason. I mean, not even to travel home. I, I, I just, I'm so scared of flying. But for some reason, as I'm getting older, and this past year I've grown so much with myself, I'm like okay with it, it's not a big deal. It's like, I don't know, it's just, things are getting better, they're getting a little bit better. I can't watch any of these because I downloaded them for the plane ride, so I need to figure out something, like I'm trying to like use up my, my no Wi-Fi time, I mean my Wi-Fi time wisely, because these are what I'll be able to watch on the plane. I figured it out. The Goofy movie has got to be in the top five best soundtracks in a Disney movie because Moana's up there, Mary Poppins is up there, a Goofy movie is for certain up there. I mean, 
I guess that would be my top three soundtracks for Disney movies, for sure. You know, we have a lot of time. We don't really need to just sit there, so we can kind of just like walk around. I want to find one of those water bottle Philly things. Fuel rods are, oh, $21, that's not bad. That's cheaper than Disney. Let's see, a swap. A dollar, not bad. I know the last time that I was at Universal, it was $3 to swap them. And we found one. Isn't that magical? Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I think we've done enough walking around here. There's not much to see, so let's watch the Mickey Mouse Club. All right, we're lining up. Group A is the first to go, so we had a good boarding group. Thanks, Star Wars. The sky's very pretty. Here we go, we're going to Chicago. There's Joan. There's Michael. So I'm gonna go to the last row that has a window in it. Oh, and look at that, the last row has a window in it. I can see out of it. So we got a good row, we're in the last one, and these windows come with the last row. I'm pretty sure people will be so excited to get like boarding group A because then they could sit closer to the front of the plane or take the exit row. I like booked it past the front of the plane, went past the exit rows and came back here to sit by myself in the last row. Oh look, he's putting the suitcases on. Maybe we'll see mine. There he goes. Once again, welcome aboard Southwest Flight 894. Okay, it's happening. We're getting ready to go. They got their lightsabers ready. Where she went, she was in view. Oh, forget it. Ooh, the lights got all funky in here. Look at that sky. It's happening. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. that was on our plane. All right, we're here. We are in Chicago. I think we're coming here for some home run and pizza. I've never been to Chicago, so I'm really excited. I know that it's like a windy city and they have like great pizza. And I know the Brooker Project is from Chicago. This was always my favorite, favorite, favorite pizza ever. There is a legitimate like home run stand with real actual like home run in like real pizza, not the frozen pizza that I would eat. I mean, it smells just like it, but like, let's open this up here. It kind of looks like it, but not like exactly. I don't know, we'll see. All right, here's an update. It was nothing like the frozen one. Now I'm not sure what there really is to do in this city. I have watched vlogs on things to do in Chicago, but I don't know what we should do first. Now it's nothing against Peter and Sarah. I'm sure Chicago is just a great city, but I think we should leave and just go to California instead. We are so going to mix it up this time. Instead of sitting on the left, we're gonna sit on the right. Look at them all lined up. Look at all the Wallies. They remind me of Wallie. Fun, or just like when we got out to California, we went to Disneyland. 
I am so happy that I can say I have officially been to the state of Chicago. Guess what? I haven't been there to myself. So guess what else? If you're cheating with skinny emergency overweight window exit, please review the exit department for the secretary center. They're loading snackies up in that bin. I took all the snackies up there. I just wanted to say really quick that I think that um, this plane is really fly. When you're wearing a watch on an airplane, time flies. <laughs> as soon as the plane was invented, things started to look really up. Come on everybody, here we go! Up to Neverland! Party's over. The aircraft has parked at the gate and our captain has turned off that seatbelt sign. Now let's go meet Once our, our friend. Once our captain has turned off that oh, seatbelt sign, we have bag. to use... Here we go. You know I have to do this. You know I'm just... I mean, I know it's probably so overdone, but I just have to do this. Thank you. Wasn't that so not funny at all? I have no idea where I'm going here at all. I just try to look for people that I think I recognize from my plane and just follow them and go for it. Okay, this airport is actually pretty small. I like walked out from the gates and all you do is just go to the right and there's the baggage claim. There's not very much here. Guess whose bag is the first bag coming off? Just take a guess. I'm so glad I made it because I've heard horror stories where your bag doesn't come for like three days. Oh, it's a little wet. <laughs> I just look around at everyone and I'm like, I think I'm one of the biggest dorks in the world. <laughs> and now we're just gonna wait here for our friends to get here. Are you kidding? I, I, well, I, we're live right I, now. So, as anyway, <laughs> I am triggered <laughs> that you are vlogging within my presence without my consent. I will get my waivers out. I, <laughs> if this is what I have to do. <laughs> And it has to be for the state of California. Oh my god. <laughs> so Florida Florida waivers aren't gonna work. No. Oh well god. good, because I don't live there anyway. So. <laughs> anyway, yes, I, I, I am with my friends now. I'm sure you guys know exactly who this is. If you don't, this is Nikki. Nikki and Scotty are the kilt guy. They have their own YouTube channel. They're Disneyland. They're, you know, West Coast. <laughs> but if you don't know who they are, they're in the description already. So and guess where we're going? In and out. Now. In and out, that's what a hamburger is all about. Is that the commercial? <laughs> that's yeah, the jingle. It is. That's is it really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In and out, I know that that jingle really matched your commercial. Please do not copyright me for that. Right? I know it was beautiful, just don't come, just for, don't me. come for me. I'm sorry that my angelic voice did a one on one impression of your commercial. Um, She's sorry. <laughs> no, no copyright intended. That's right. <laughs> there it is, right there. And I also heard they have hats. I've just been told they have the most amazing shakes here. And unfortunately I'm wearing jeans. I didn't wear like stretchy pants. So we'll see how this goes. I just got really excited about these palm trees and then come to find out that they are at every in and out Yeah, and they're crisscross like that. That's their, every logo. In and out. That's their logo. It's crossed. <laughs> so they train their trees to cross like that. How do you train a tree? <laughs> you have to like, you have to- Are we be uh, seriously? Yeah, no, I'm okay. serious, like they, they stilts and stuff. They, oh, oh, stop it. <laughs> no, they do, they use it to like, uh, <laughs> okay. So 
now I have gotten the California starter pack here. I've got it. She's giving me a sticker, a hat, and a shirt. I have no idea what the shirt looks like, but I'm pretty excited, and I'm gonna put it on when we get back to the room. Since I can't wait for anything because I'm very impatient, I had to at least rip out the logo. Look, it says California on it. Oh, look at that. I bet you the back has something on it. I didn't even have to say, oh, oh. <laughs> It's Wait, the, the California, it's the first California location. Yeah. That's Before I even the, pulled this out, I said, I bet you there's something on the back. They're like, it, it, there is. It's the in and out with the sunset on the back. And the creepy conspiracy palm trees. <laughs> the conspiracy palm trees. <laughs> the extra palm trees. <laughs> So Jade that works here at in and out is the absolute best, first of all, for my California starter package, but look at these, and look at these. I mean, oh, well, Those there. are my fries. Okay, are we ready for this? Can you see me? What's on this? <laughs> it's cheese and a uh, Thousand Island dressing. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> unique. It's unique. That's my word for it. We are at the hotel and I walk in and he goes, you must be Veronica. I was like, okay, well that wasn't creepy to say, but okay. No, now I feel like I'm the biggest, laziest person ever. We've got the bellhop services here. <laughs> okay, I am back at the room now. I am pretty tired because right now I'm like three hours off, so like Say it's 3 in the morning here, it's 6 a.m. where I'm at, which I'm not super tired because I do work the overnight shift. So anyway, I just, I, I it wasn't a bad day at all. I, I didn't have anything, like no big hiccups, nothing like major happened. Everything kind of went smooth. I got to try In-N-Out Burger for the first time. Um, it was, it was, it was good. The burger was good. The fries got soggy fast, so I didn't really eat them. Um, so... Uh, it didn't work at all. <laughs> no, it didn't work at all. <laughs> that was, um, there's the toilet. <laughs> a. Anyway, that's going to conclude our travel day. I had a lot of fun. I don't know. I anticipated that it was going to be scary, and it ended up not being scary at all. I thought, like, the layover thing was going to terrify me, and I thought a luggage was going to go missing. Not a luggage, my luggage was going to go missing. I don't know, I just, I expected the worst, but I always hope for the best, and the best happened, and it wasn't a bad day at all. If you're new to the channel, I would love if you subscribed and came on our adventures with me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love if you gave it a little thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, I am so sorry about that. And remember, we have a lot more story left to tell. Oh yeah, I forgot to give a little room tour. We got a bathroom, the bathroom get ready area, and beds. Yep. That's the room tour. It's I'm holding it for God's We're having God a lot of bathroom when, talk oh, happening yeah, here in this car yeah, right when now. You're, like um, when you work, like you don't want to. I, am I so. tell you, this one girl says, don't nobody go poop in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Chris. So I don't want to use her I'm bathroom not because well, well, she'll I don't get go mad. Okay. During the last few years, we've ventured into a lot of different fields. We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse.